words. I'll tell you something. It's going to be a wheel. You got to roll. We got to go. We know where we're going. I'm going to try this one more time. I had gobblers and hens and everything's worked like it should. So we ain't pulling the trigger. This is part of it. Going in here. Got to get the turkey going. Get, get one dead here if we can. And get out of here. We got work to do. We got calls to the bill. Part of what we gotta do is when you're on the turkey call come. Mid morning right now, just past nine o'clock, and there's a turkey that just started shot gobbling at some crows. Mike called to him a couple times and he answered, but he's just staying in the same spot. There's this clear lane that goes out, and Mike is calling, walking out, and then he's gonna call coming back. And hopefully, that's enough to bring him up in this way. He could also come from behind us here, so we're calling to try to pin him down to one spot and not make him have us guess where he's come through and have it be just a complete rodeo of where is he going to be. We came in early, it was overcast, cool, kind of damp, misty. Had a turkey gobble two times, hard to our west. We've encountered turkeys right here close to this spot two times already. 
in the last two or three days and we decided we were going to come on up to this spot and we've been sitting 20 yards back that way and we were sitting in these old faint road beds where they've been cutting some timber out this way and one goes down that way. Apparently there was a turkey pitch from here close to us and went that way and he may have gobbled four or five times all morning long and we were just about to call it because it does not, I mean we know he's got hands with him. We've seen the end. And he's just not really ready. So we were fixing to say, you know, we got work to do, we got to get out of here. And then all of a sudden, he gobbled. I called. He answered me. I called again. He answered me. And he gobbled. He went quiet again. Now he's gobbled once or twice more, just kind of like he's moving around this road bed. So we're just giving a little more time. Patience, trying to be patient, don't get too hot footed. We're just kind of letting him do his thing. Hope we we'll give it a little more time.
just doing the right thing. Man. Just doing the right thing. And that nearly wasn't a good deal either. That hen was right there, and he was coming right behind her. He'd answer me twice. Finally. He'd been here all morning. He'd been right out there. He might have gobbled five times. I said, man, this turkey just is not ready. He's got hens with him, and we got so much work to do and everything. But we stayed, and by the time we was fixing to give up, I said, uh, he gobbled something. Something something kicked him off, woodpecker or something, crow. You know, and then we kind of moved a little bit. I called out this way a little bit, trying to cast the call like the hen was over here. We just sat back down and said, we're going to have to give it a little bit of time. And I told Dylan, I said, you know, this old logging thing where they've been in here thinning these pines, it goes out that ridge, it goes right down into the bottom. They scratch around in a lot, and he's just down in that bottom. You know, and I said, he's got a hen back with him or something. And, uh, you know, he gobbled once or twice more over the next 30 minutes. And I said, man, we're just going to give him a little time. I know we got work to do and we got things. I mean, y'all get tired of hearing that, but we got work to do. got things we got to do. I thought I saw something moving. I got my binoculars up and I saw movement. And I said, that's a hen. And she's coming straight up that road. And I, dude, she is just feet from us. And it went right, you know, was right. she was right there on me. But I saw him coming and I didn't want to, you know, as fast as he was coming, I didn't want him to get too close because, I mean, these ninja loads are bad, one thing, plus he just, time to kill him when you can. Next thing I needed was her to start doing something goofy, and I had my hand up over my side because I was having to face the sun. That's one of those things, you know, when I'm having to face the sun, that's the way the turkey came. I try not to let that lens reflect, so I had my hand like this, and she was right here on my shoulder, but he's, you know, right there 30 yards in clothing so I just had to slide my hand down and get on him and of course they saw that but it was a little bit too late he took a few steps behind a pine tree I couldn't kill him right there and I want to make sure you're on him clear so but dude we've had probably this turkey right here two or three times just right there with hands and just you know just didn't feel like we had the right shot or one reason or another but it feels good to Thank you, Lord. Feels good to get get this turkey on the ground, and you know, obviously having something with some history with him. Boy, I tell you what, again, I hate to keep on me about the minutes, but damn, when you hit them with it, it's just they just blood splattered everywhere. I hated to hit him. I, I mean, he was kind of you know he kind of did the old. He kind of did the old, what was he was about, he was right in there. Yeah. And he did the, t and I shot him right here. So he, when he came back in between, you know, he, he's done moved back away four or five steps. So still, they were coming to where they were comfortable and where they wanted to be. And he was following out here. And I told you when he gobbled down there a couple of times, I said, you know, we've been seeing him with three to five hens. I said, some of them, we seen a hen come by like she was going to, a, on a mission, like she's going to lay an egg, you know, earlier. And I said, them hens are leaving him. And he kind of got gobbled there just out, you know, and kind of was ready to gather up and leave. And he gobbled. And I called and he answered, and I called and he answered. And, I, and then he went quiet. And I said, well, one of them hens is still right there somewhere. She's either come back to him. He may, you know, may not have been hens in sight. Sometimes they get to doing their business, you know, and them hens start leaving, and the hen gets over the... And he don't, he don't see a hen. He starts getting a little more anxious, you know. And that one that was still with him, and I think she was just coming where she want to be. I mean, obviously they'd heard me up here calling, so she's either coming up here to get with her friends or she's coming over here to feed up through here. This is good stuff from the where they do these logging strips and stuff, and they can come through and bug and they can scratch and all this debris and stuff. There's bugs in it and little seeds and little green sprouts coming up plus they dust in it you'll, you'll find dust bowls all along places like this and that's why you find good turkey habitat that's being a woodsman finding where they are because you ain't got turkeys to hunt it don't matter what how good a turkey killer or whatever you are you got to have turkeys located the, these strikers you know they make different tones and everything and i i was looking for something that would strike his fancy and uh obviously i found it there at the end 
Got him convinced to come see us anyway. And yonder he hangs. That's right in the pine box. 